Okay, today we're looking at creating a cron job with cron tab. It's something that people have asked me in the past to do tutorials on, and um, although it is a very useful tool when you need it, and it can be can do a lot of things for you, it's something that I probably don't use as much as I should. Um, but I do have an instance of it running on my Pogo Plug server running Arch Linux, and I have it set to every so often. I forget the the increments that I set it to, but it checks its IP and sends that out remotely, so that if I'm away from home, I don't have a static IP. Um, and my IP very rarely changes, but if it was to change while I'm not at home, I can just you know check where it uploads the uh, the IP address to, and I know my home IP regardless of where I am, so I can SSH in and copy files or run tasks or whatever I need to do. Um, so, cron job and using cron tab to create a cron job. Um, can be very confusing looking, but once you understand it, it's actually quite simple. And what we're going to run today is we're going to run cron tab. And if I haven't said already, um, a cron job is just basically setting a job to run, a program to run every so often. You might be familiar with the at command. It's similar to that, um, but probably a little more advanced. Um, we're going to run cron tab dash e for edit. And it opens it up in a default text editor. In most cases, it's probably going to be nano. Um, and it gives a complete explanation, everything you need to know right up here at the top. And it even gives an example. So let's scroll down here. Here is the example. So, for example, you can run a backup of all your user accounts at 5 a.m. every week with this command. Now, it's not running right now because it is commented out with this pound symbol. But if I was to remove that and save this file, Every week at 5 a.m. on um, uh, the first day of the week, yes, um, it will uh, run this command and back up your home directory. Uh, and actually, uh, one, I can't remember off the top of my head if Sunday is zero or one. So I don't know if one is Monday or not. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. That's something we'll have to look up. Anyway. They give you another example down here of what you need to type. And this M stands for minutes. H is hours. Then we got days of the month, which month, and day of the week. So let's say we wanted to have something run. Um, right now I'm looking at my clock, and it is 12.56 PM. So let me set something to go off in about two minutes. Uh, give me time to type this out. So. For minutes, since it's 56 right now, let's go 58 minutes after the hour. And which hour? I'll have it run at 12. It's a 12th hour, and you will use military time here. Uh, so there's 24 hours. Um, and actually, let me change this to 59, because it's just turned to 57. I want to give myself time to finish this. And now for the rest of these, we can put in you know, um, what uh, day of the month, what month, and day of the week, and it's all going to be numbers. So, you know, uh, day of the month, if I want it to run only on the 20th of the month, I write a 20 here. But if you want it to run every day at 1259, you can just do asterisk, which means every one of these. So every month, it's going to run at 1259 every month, or sorry, every day of every month of every day of the week. Yes. So let's just say echo hello world. And we will put that into temp folder hello.txt. I will save that. And it says installing new cron job, no errors, that's good. So now let's just check out the date. Oh, perfect. We have less than a minute because it should be going off at 1258. Um, I'm sorry, 12.59, and it's 12.58 in 4 seconds, 12.58 in 13 seconds, so about 45 seconds until this cron job will run. And it will run every day at 12.59. It will put hello world into my temp folder. And now, right now, if I was to cat out temp hello.txt, I think is what we named it, you can see we're going to get an error that that, that that file or folder doesn't exist. But in less than a minute, in about 20 seconds, that file will be created and the text will be in there. Um, so you can do this with pretty much any command and have any program or script that you've written run whenever you have it set to. So that way you can automate stuff easily. Less than 10 seconds. 
Let's go ahead and try to cat this file out. I'm watching my clock. Okay, clock just flipped over. The file exists. I didn't get the error saying the file. Uh, there's no such file. Because uh, our cron job ran our little command and put hello world into that text. Now, if I leave that command in there, once again, every day at 1259, it will add a line to the hello text in my temp folder. And if the folder does, file does not exist, it will create it. So once again, cron tab dash E. And uh, you can just add other lines here. So uh, let's just do another example here. If I wanted it to run um, every day at, let's say, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, I can say 0 for 0 minutes. So right at 1 o'clock, we'll run it 13, 1300 hours, which is 1 o'clock. And I can say uh, day of the month. Let's say I want it to run the 15th of every month. I can do that, and that, and that, and then write out my command. Now, if I don't want it to run on the 15th of every month, but I want it to run every um, Tuesday, and once again, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure this probably starts at zero, so Sunday is probably zero, but don't quote me on that. So let's just say Tuesday is two. Now, it will run at one o'clock, every Tuesday, whatever command I type here. Um, so I hope you found this tutorial useful. And uh, there's other things, other options, but that's the basic, and I think that's what most people will use. So you can just have a list of things going here. And if you decide you want to disable something, you could always just comment it out in case you want it later. So once again, I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Check out the link in the description. In the next tutorial, we'll be going over cron job again. And you might remember recently I did a tutorial on setting a timer for a GUI application to open up. Well, one of my viewers, I can't remember their username right now, commented and showed me, it might have been got bled to. I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, uh, how to use cron tab and create a cron job that will display a GUI application on a given display. So if you have more than one display, it will open up on whichever one you want. So look forward to that, and that video will be up in the next couple of days. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.